everybody, this is artist Tara Reed, and I wanted to do a video showing artists how I take images from Photoshop and turn them into PDFs that have a variety of size, file sizes and resolution. I've been doing this with my art collections for art licensing for years and have had different people ask me how it was done. And now that most artists have moved over to the creative suite, it's easier than ever because there are three programs involved. So I work in Photoshop. This is a sample of a page that I would use in a presentation PDF that has all, you know, a bunch of off to school icons. So each one of these, as you can see, I can move them around, are in a different layer. That way, if I want to then create patterns, I can drag them onto another file, etc. So I always keep a file that is layered. But then when I'm ready to do my presentation materials, I flatten this file either by doing shift command E or control E if you're on a Macintosh or if you go over to this layers drop down you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna say flatten image. And I'll think about that for a minute and then you'll see now we just have one layer which is a background. Then what I do is I go to file save as or control command S or option S and then I put it into an EPS file. I make in my mark I save all of these pages in my mark in a marketing folder. Then I have an EPS folder, a PDF folder where I save them small, which I'll show you in a moment, and then a print size PDF folder. So when you go to save it, you just change the format from Photoshop and you scroll down and you choose oh right there. Photoshop EPS. Then you click save and it's already there so but it's the same thing so I'll just hit replace and then it'll give you EPS options I simply hit OK I don't make any of these choices so when you do that for all of the pages that you want to turn into PDFs the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open the Acrobat distiller and that is available as a program in the Adobe Creative Suite or so this is we'll close that so I don't get y'all confused Okay, that's Acrobat Pro and Acrobat, or, or yeah, Acrobat Distiller. So the distiller, if you think about um, old time distillers where you're making alcohol, you're, you're, you're bringing things and making them smaller, right? You're making it more concentrated. So that's what we're going to do with the file. You can change these settings. I save every one of my EPSs as both a smallest file size. So if I wanna email a group of PDFs to somebody, it's going to get through the emails without being too large and high quality. So you just click smallest size and then you would either go up to file open and then find your file or you can also just drag it over here and then it distills it super fast and it takes it from an EPS to a PDF. So you can see it just landed here. So this PDF at smallest size is now 140 kilobytes. Super easy to email to somebody. Now, if we open that up in Adobe Acrobat, you can see the resolution isn't the best. It's a little bit grainy. It's, you know, it's not gonna be print quality, but that's fine for somebody that's just going to be looking at the art to see if it's going to be a fit. You really don't wanna give them the most crisp things that they could potentially take um, and use without your permission. Of course, you don't wanna send things to people that might do that anyway. Now, to save a little bit of time, I'm just gonna show you what this file looks like it, when it's done as high quality. So, here they are side to side. On the left is the high quality PDF, on the right is the smallest size. So you can really see the clarity and resolution difference. Then, if you look at the size of the file, the high quality is 1.9 megabytes, so it's a much larger file. What I do is I create a PDF of the entire file with Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I open Acrobat Pro and then I click Combine Files into PDF. And then I can take all of these files, all of these high-res files, and drag them over here. And then I always make this I always make this bigger and you can change the order. So I always do a cover page, then I might show samples first, borders, icons, patterns, whatever order you want them in, and then you click combine. 
and like magic it puts it all together and then it will open it for you if you click this one you see the whole page and then you can see that you can scroll through that and so you have your whole collection all together in one place which is awesome if you click this little page it shows you and you can also reorganize the pages here if you want to you can drag them around into different order then you're just going to save um, either do the file pull down save or control shift control s to save and you're going to save that file so i'm not going to save it right now so to give you an idea for this collection the high resolution pdfs when i put them all together creates a file size of 16.9 megabytes way too big to email to somebody through an email system you could use something like WeTransfer or Dropbox or other system or give them a link that they can download if you put it on your website or you use Amazon S3, which is an Amazon storage program. And that's why, because they are so big, that's why I also always save it as a low res. So here's my PDF low res is 1.7 megabytes. That can be emailed. Usually if you're under two, people can you can send and receive that. Um, via regular email systems. So I do them in both ways. If I want somebody to see the high resolution, I always have it saved online somewhere and then I can send them the link and they can download it on their own. So to, in short, to do that, you need to have whatever program you're creating your EPS files. So I do it from Photoshop. Then you distill the EPS into PDFs and then you put the PDFs together in Adobe Acrobat. Thank mm -hmm. you.